Good night, folks, and welcome to the senior edition of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018. It has been an exciting series so far. Competitors in the 8 to 12 and 13 to 17 categories started the 2018 series off with a bang, and tonight, those competing in the 18 and over category will be bringing it in front of a massive crowd here in St. John, Barbados. I am Martin Paris, and with me are Wayne Simmons and Perry Osterley. We've got to point out to you that in all of the action that we saw before, though they're traveling the same course, the intensity, the degree of difficulty has been increased. Yes, there have been a few changes made on the course, and we'll see. There is also a new obstacle, which is the Joe's River Jumper. We'll see that in a few minutes if Bromo gets there. He's now on the first obstacle, the Morgan Lewis wheels, on the second wheel, and so far looking very methodical, taking his approach, taking his time, because this Tita Totter is taking out a lot of people straight into the steps. No problem right there. Wallaba logs have been set a little bit more difficult, but he seems to clear it easily. So right here, the monkey bars are actually set differently. One part is hanging high, one part is hanging low, so it's a little bit, it's been made difficult. And he needs to get to the end platform, which has been set further away, but he cleared it. The trampoline is further away from the garrison spider wall, but doesn't seem to affect him. Needs to get on the end platform. And now we have the Joe's River Jumper. An obstacle we've never seen before at all. And this obstacle is upper body taxing. And this is how you do it. Great technique, keeping the arms 90 degrees, making sure his hands are even on both sides of the bar because if you let go of one, you will tip over and fall down. He cleared it, good job. Well, he made, as we say in Barbados, mince me to that one. No difficulty apparently, and he's on now to the cargo ropes. Nicely done, the Hackleton's Cliff net climb going over. This is the first competitor, and I got the chance to talk to him a little bit, and he has no fear of any obstacle. He says he's going to take his time everywhere, take it easy. He just wants to clear the course, so let's hope he gets to Mount Haleby. The log roll is something that requires a lot of balance. You've got to take it measured. At no time at all should you lose your momentum, because if the log rolls a little faster than you're prepared to go, then out of desperation, you try to jump into the safety area. And oftentimes, as we've seen before, persons have fallen short. Not he. in this case. He gets the white flag that says he's made it through as he should. All right, so this cheetah totter is really, really tricky. We've seen a lot of people fail on this today. And he just did. It was a good run, but this ragged Point teeter tot is one you should not underestimate. Hey, Bromel, first out of the blocks, how was the run for you? It was, it was, it was great. It was great. That, that, that peg, it always wobbled a bit. I knew that, but I still I approached it a bit too fast. Yeah, I didn't want to go there at all. Coming into the competition, is there any uh, part of the course that you thought would have been difficult for you? Oh, uh, the, the, the difficult was actually going over the Jove River. I definitely uh, knew that nobody had fell in the water before the other person was using the rope, so it was easier. So I know I had the first one to really get over that, and that was really what I wanted to get over really and truly. All right, well, fantastic yeah. run. Congratulations. Didn't make it all the way, but there's so much more happening. Let's take you back to the course. Is this our first female competitor? This is our first few com female competitor, and she's internationally from the U.S., Jax Citriglia. She just cleared the monkey bars, looking good, onto the garrison spider wall right now. Looking very, very confident. Look at that leg work, very nice. She's getting ready now. 
Well, you know, you speak f literally of the leg work, and obviously she's got very powerful legs. But if you look at those legs, you realize that they're also very decorated as well. She's yeah. got lots of tattoos. One thing she loves is tattoos. And right now, she's on the Joe's River Jumper, making steps and swinging hard to skip a lot of rungs, which is very, very smart. This is like a veteran approach right here. She needs to make a small jump over it. She gets it. She's halfway already. She is getting tired, though. This could be it. One more jump is enough to get to the end. But she's looking very tired. Her arms are getting long. Will she make it? We talk she about can. The effort that you make with the arms, but what is also at play here are the abdominal muscles. Wow. Because as you push that bar into the air to get to the next stage, you just imagine all the strength that you're summoning from all the parts of your body, but the abs are very much in play. So Jax is climbing up and over the Hackleton's Cliff net climb, getting ready for the River Bay log roll. Most of the Americans have not been training this obstacle. So if she clears it, she's setting up the pace, but no! You called it, Perry. As you said, many have not been training on this particular obstacle, and sometimes it just happened to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And there we saw it. And we will see much more when the Barbados Ninja Throwdown continues right after this. Welcome back and already on the course is another of our international competitors. This time, from closer to home, it's Jeremy John from Trinidad and Tobago. And right now, Jeremy John is making quick way, quick work actually, of the monkey bars straight into the Garrison Spider Wall, making it look easy. He's going to set a course record if he keeps it up. But let's not forget, this is a new obstacle they've never seen before. He, this is the second person getting to Joe's River Jumper, and it is taxing on the forearms, on the grip, and you need to make sure you're hopping over it before sliding. Now there's no room for error here because if you do, you'll be plunging into that cold water which is awaiting you and it's not welcoming. And that's what I said. You need to jump over one before you slide because he's now sliding. He needs to make one more jump because when he's diagonally, he won't slide back and then he can jump off, right there. He now needs to, yeah. <laughs> and he's now over the incredible Halkinson's Cliff net climb, getting ready for the River Bay log roll. He's standing on it, not moving. All right, here we go. So Jeremy's from Trinidad, the winner of a Ninja Warrior-based competition in Trinidad. He's looking very confident, but this teeter-totter took out already one competitor here. If he clears this one, he can get to the end. Here we go. Filipico Tenerife pegboard. Remember, unlike what happened in the junior category, where the pegs remain fixed in this leg of the competition, you only go so far with the fixed pegs, after which you've got to move one peg into a hole and then another peg into another hole while constantly moving forward. And it means that it requires a lot of singular arm strength to go from one position to the other. But he's doing it well, and I somehow think that he will be able to complete this leg of the course without too much difficulty. So he took his time before he started the Pico Tenerife peg board, and that just tells me he is gassed, he's winded. So he's trying to make a jump for it because his arms are too tired. He needs to get over the blue line. He clears it, good job. So now we have the Charles Fort cannonballs. 
You can use the trampoline to get onto the first cones. He's got it. Onto the cannonballs. Just two more cones. And there you go. So you only got to get three tries on Mount Hillaby. That's one. Clearly was hoping that he'd make that transition seamlessly from the cannonballs to Mount Hillaby. And this time, the third time, and he's out. Unfortunately, Jeremy John, the PE teacher from Trinidad, did not give himself the space, and this is why he couldn't conquer the mighty Mount Hillaby warp wall. When we come back, last year's winner will attempt to make it back-to-back -back wins and become the 2018 Barbados Ninja Throwdown Champion. Stay tuned. Let's see what some of our competitors who are visiting Barbados for the first time have been up to off the course during their stay on the island. We are back, and Perry and Wayne, let me tell you, the crowd is excited and the atmosphere is electric, and for good reason. We are now going to the winner of last year's Barbados Ninja Throwdown. Obviously, he's thrown down the gauntlet to everyone to let them know I'm the defending champion, so I'm the one to beat. He's entered at position number nine. Will he make it right through to the end? Well. In a few minutes, we're going to find out. Remember, the time limit to this is just over four minutes. All right, Lee Knight, I am rooting for you. Don't go too fast on those wallaby logs. All right, good job. Chalking up, getting ready for the monkey bars. Is he wearing a GoPro? Am I seeing this right? No better way to capture the the intensity of the competition than being able to film what's deadly ahead of you. In fact, I think you'll probably use this for future practice and it will reveal a lot to him in terms of how he's approached the course. All right, Lee Knight. You're the Barbados Ninja Throwdown winner from 2017. You competed two times already. This is your third time. You're the most experienced throwdown competitor. Show us how it's done. Please. And I dare say he seems to be advancing by quantum leaps as well. Most people were doing let's two step, one step at a time, but Lee is doing two at a time. Come on, Lee. Just one more jump and then you can do the dismount. One more jump. All right, get ready. Swing. Get to the end. Let's go. Nice. Don't fall forward. Okay. He gathers himself, grabs the hold of the rope, and he's now wow. onto the Hackleton Cliff net climb grabbing the top of it up and over you know Perry seems to be getting stronger as he goes forward the log roll oh no this doesn't look good this does not look good but please save yourself you're a champion yes well here comes the acid test yes well first a little bit of balance will it get into his head Easy does it. Simple. This is the way of a champion. A Barbados Ninja Throwdown champion right here. Getting ready for the Pico Tenerife pegboard. He's moved the first peg. Oh. Almost lost his way. Wow. He was swaying in the wind for just a moment. But he regained his balance. He's removing the second peg. He's already thinking about his dismount, but he should not. He should have the two pegs on the blue board first in order to get a good swing. And I think he's going to go for it after one more move. Here we go. Will Is he clear this jump? <laughs> yes, he does. The white flag goes up. He's running straight into the trampoline onto the Charles Ford cannonballs. 
grabbing a second cannonball. He's one-arming it. That means he is still in good shape. He's and made now. it to the end of the cannonballs and is now to the warp wall. Gathers himself. Swaying back and forth before he attempts it. And he misses it the oh first time. With every effort, the energy just saps from your body. He tries it a second time. Yes. He grabs it. He gets he it. He's made it. He's, he made it. He's made it. He's made it. She goes to horn. This is the champion. Lee Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Will he regain his title? This was a great, great run. Lee is the first one, and how fantastic to see a Barbadian competitor make it to the end. Unofficial time, just about 3.47. How do you feel about that run? Feel great. Could be a little bit faster, but hope is enough to win. What were your, was your strategy going in? Well, I was really nervous, so my strategy was just obstacle by obstacle, just complete each obstacle, and then look at the next one and not think ahead. Was there anything while you were going through the run, any, any part of it that was the most difficult for you? Well, this one right here, can't remember what's the name of it right now because it's the newest obstacle. Um, I did it twice during practice and I had my technique in mind, but then I slid back once and it kind of offset my rhythm. But I just had to keep going. But you finished. Yes, so I congratulations. Good so stuff. Lee, the first competitor to finish this course tonight. Last year's champion made it all the way to the end. Will his time make him two times a winner? We still have a number of competitors to go before we find out. And let's go straight to our next competitor, who is Darren Matthews. And he's making quick work of the infamous Morgan Lewis wheels. He's now onto the second wheel. Taking a cautious approach here, that's fine. Getting ready for the ragged point, teeter tot. Pushing it down, putting on his foot, two feet, and he let go. So now he's on a teeter. He cannot fail here, he's from the UK, let's go. Making great work of the steps. And on to the Wallabala, good. Great job, not losing his balance there. And now he's on the monkey bars. So the monkey bars are a little bit inverted. That's awesome. Makes it very hard. Skipping a lot of monkey bars, which is very, very efficient. Getting ready for his end jump. Good jump. Straight into the trampoline, onto the garrison spider wall. Making his way to the end. Looking very, very good. So Darren Matthews is clearing this obstacle right now. Good job. I think he's gonna make his way to the rope. Yes, he does. Nicely done. Onto the Hackleton's Cliff net climb. Up and over. And the next obstacle is the River Bay log roll. So, it's gonna be very, very exciting to see what he's gonna do. Taking a cautious approach here which is good because you don't want to mess up on a balance obstacle. Good job clearing it. He's not chalking his hands up, so he might feel confident enough to get to the pegs, but he's losing his balance. Again, the ragged point teeter tot taking out another competitor. Darren, the teeter totter got you after that impressive run. I mean, you were ahead of the game in terms of speed. What was going through your head? Well, I knew that I could get the muscle obstacles done. Um, and where I was nervous for is where it took me. Um, I was more nervous for you teeter-totter at the beginning. And then I guess I just defeated myself mentally there. Oh, man. What was looking like a promising run on the course came to an unfortunate and wobbly end on the teeter-totter for Darren Matthews. We will be back with more of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown right after this.
Welcome back to the Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018. Here's a quick look at how some of the other competitors fared on the Barbados Ninja Throwdown course. He still needs to make his way up to the last two pegs in order to move the pegs. But he's, he's shaking, shaking his no. head. Oh my God. And I think that he's not helping his cause by doing that. If he's at this stage of the pegboard and doesn't make it, he's not going to go any further. Oh man. And the sound of the horn says it all. Already on the second wheel of the Morgan Lewis wheels. Pushing down a teeter-tot. He's on it. This is it. Make it or break it. Losing his balance. Oh, no! Those Catawash stepping stones are easily cleared by Darren. He's getting ready for the Wallaba Logs. Taking his time there because you know He's seen a lot of people fail there. He's losing his balance here and there. Oh, no! You never know if you can win unless you take a chance. And that's what he did. He took the chance. That's right. And Orlando is making it look easy, but he rushed into the wall of a log. Yes, four minutes is the time limit. So he needs to hurry up when he gets further in the course. And now he's making up a lot of time, but... He fell again onto the river bay. Oh, rock, clearing it. That was close. But that was a close call. The ragged point, Cedar Todd. I keep telling you guys, this is an obstacle, not to overthink. And what's happening is he's losing his balance, and he lost it. Well, it was really interesting what Justin took the time to do. He chalked his hands and then applied some of that very chalk to the soles of his shoes. But in he spite did? of that, yes, he did. But it gave him no advantage because it was then that he fell. That's where he lost his balance. So there you have it, folks. That is a wrap on the first competitors in the 18 and over category. And so far, the only one who has cleared the course is the 2017 Barbados Ninja Throwdown Champion, Lee Knight. But there's still more challenges to come. Will Lee hold on to his position? Tune in next week to find out when Barbados Ninja Throwdown continues. On behalf of Wayne Simmons and Perry Osterley, I'm Martin Paris. Next year's competition will be May 11th, 2019. Follow Barbados Ninja Throwdown on Facebook to find out when you can sign up to compete and to stay on top of everything that is happening next year.